Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamotha.com. In this video, I want to teach you about mixed numbers and how to teach mixed numbers to your students. Now, mixed number concept in itself is very easy. All it means is that we have a whole number and a fraction together. For example, this picture here pictures a mixed number. We have two whole pies and one third of a pie, and so we write it as two and one third. This is a mixed number because it has a whole number here and a fraction here. This one is picturing one, one whole pie, and then two fourths, right? So students, of course, need to first learn to identify mixed numbers using visual models. And a part of that is that they will also draw the visual models when the mixed number is given. Draw one and a half. So they need to draw one, one whole pie, then another pie where they will color the half, okay? One pie colored and one half. Or draw four three-fifths. So we draw four whole pies and then a fifth pie. But here in the fifth pie we only um, we divide it into five parts, color three, then these are all color colored. Like that. Now, there is somewhat more difficulty when students have to change mixed numbers to fractions or vice versa. So let's look at those two. First, let's say we have to change or learn to change mixed numbers into fractions. Here's an example of a mixed number. It is two and three fourths. Let me write it here. To change it into a fraction, we need to divide these whole pies into same kind of parts as here. This was divided into four parts, so we need to divide these to four parts too. There. And now, just count how many fourths there are. You can count, or the student can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay? Eleven fourths is the answer. Now it is a fraction. So many fourths. And of course, you want to point out to students at some point that there is a shortcut where they don't have to count one by one, but they can use multiplication to figure out how many fourths are in these two whole pies. It's just two times four, right? Two times four would be eight. Eight slices here and then three slices here. Total eleven. Or here, our mixed number is three and one-eighth. When we change it into a fraction, we need to divide everything into eighths, because this one is divided into eighths. It will be so many eighths. The problem is, how many eighths are there going to be? Okay, so here would be eight eighths, right? If I divide this into eight, I'll get eight eighths. And so here two and here two. So I would have eight and eight and eight, or three times eight, eighths. That's twenty-four eighths. And then the one more. 25. Here is like a little visual reminder of this shortcut. Okay? If we have a 5 and 1 sixth that we want to change into a fraction, first of all, we think this way. Okay, these are sixth parts, so we need to make these to have sixth parts too. The answer will be so many sixths. And then how many? Okay, this would be divided into six sixths. And so this one two, and this one, and this one. So there will be five times six sixths plus one. So you go five times six is thirty plus one, thirty-one. Now let's look at the opposite problem where we are changing a fraction into a mixed number. Here's an example, 7 fifths, and we need to write it as a mixed number. First, students can again use visual models. I like to use visual models with all fraction operations at first, okay? The idea is to draw enough pies so you can color 7 fifths. So let's draw some pies. Okay, if I draw a pie here, I need to color fifths in it, so I need to divide it into 5 parts. Okay, in this pie I can color five fifths, but that's not enough. So I need to draw another pie and divide that one into fifths and then color two more slices from here. There. 
Now I have color seven fifths. And I can see as a mixed number, it would be one and two fifths. So here's another one, seven thirds. I need to draw pies, enough pies so that I can color seven thirds. So I draw a pie, it needs to be divided into thirds and so I can color three thirds, but that's not enough. Okay, here is another one. I can color three more, that's six thirds, not enough. One more. And this one here. Now I have colored seven thirds, and so I can see this two and one third. And then students can start th thinking about the shortcut, how to do the problems without a visual model. You need to always think that of these seven, uh, how many whole pies will I get, first of all? How many whole pies, if, if I need to put three into each whole pie? So the question is the same as how many times does three go into seven? And that is two times, and then there's a remainder. This is basically a division problem. You have to think of your fraction as a division problem, seven divided by three. And then when you solve that, you will get the answer. Seven divided by three equals two and remainder one. The two tells you that there's gonna be two whole pies and the remainder slice is the one third. This slice here is the one remainder. Okay, let's look at it again. If I have a fraction 19 over eight, I need to think how many whole pies will I get if each whole pie takes eight eighths. Okay, eight eighths into first whole pie, eight eighths into the second whole pie, and so on and so on. How many whole pies will I get? You divide. You think how many times does eight go into 19? And, uh, okay, eight and 16, it goes two times. So I will get two whole pies, and those two whole pies will have the 16 slices, right? And then I will have three slices left over, three eighths. And um, to make sure a student can still draw this whole process, the two whole pies that take eight here, eight slices here, and this will be then the three eighths from here. Or 30 over 7, the fraction 30 sevenths. Just think of it as a division. Think of it as this fraction line as a division symbol and divide. 30 divided by 7. And that is 4. And then we have 2 left over, or, or remainder 2. So therefore, we will need 4 whole pies full of a sevenths. And then the 2, the remainder, means that 2 slices left over in the fifth pie, so it is 2. Six. 